That, that's the weapon of a carpenter. <laughs> Is that too much? Did I cross the streams? So, starting in 2020, I, like many of you, was working from home a lot. I was spending a lot less time in my car driving to and from work, and I was spending a lot more time in my shop. Uh, I got a few big projects under my belt before I realized I didn't really want to be spending a whole lot of money on new wood. Now, like many woodworkers out there, my scrap pile is an ever-growing horde of smaller and smaller bits. and. Uh, I really wanted to build a lot of scrap wood projects. Um, so I've said this before uh, on this channel that I'm a space nerd, but I'm also a science fiction nerd. Books, TV, movies, the like. Um, and like many folks, I kind of got that started on Star Wars, um, particularly in New Hope when I was very young. Um, it's kind of a movie that I've always known. I've never really not known the twist, not known the plot, uh, but I have no idea when I first saw it. Um, but during COVID, the first thing I tackled Mal's blaster from Firefly and Serenity. Side note, I'm not like a gun person or a weapons person. I really just like science fiction weapons. I really wanted to make this as like screen accurate as possible. I was watching the series at the time. Um, so this is all made out of MDF and walnut for the scales here, but I used a product called Rub and Buff to make it look pretty, pretty close to brass, weathered it, aged it, um, added a few real screws, put some Rub and Buff on there, um, obviously not a real trigger, and yeah, I was really happy with how this came out. Um, I feel like it pretty closely resembles the one on screen. Uh, yeah, and had a lot of fun making it. But I have a wood shop. I have access to a lot of um, American local hardwoods. Um, so that didn't quite match my aesthetic that I was going for. So my next thought was not only to make a replica prop as accurate to the physical scale as possible, but also to leave it uh, the natural wood colors. Um, so naturally the first thing I thought of was Luke's lightsaber. So that was the next thing I built. Again, I tried to make this as accurate to the size, proportions as possible. Um, uh, editor Jim here. I just found out that this part is supposed to be like metal, not copper. Uh, I just found that out now. I've had this thing for four years. Um, yep. Yeah. Whoops. I don't care, I like it. And using the different colors of wood to get the different colors of metal on the actual lightsaber. So um, the way this worked was all these portions were measured and then glued together into one chunk. And then it was turned on a lathe uh, with this piece being added later. Um, so for the lightsaber, the parts that look like aluminum or you know bare metal colored were in ash so here's ash on the end then there's some copper portion here but so this is cherry goes back to metal then the darker black painted metal uh, on the blaster i used walnut um, so then we you know alternate back and forth main ash handle and a cherry end um, I didn't have a piece big enough for the ash, so you see it's two pieces glued together, so I do. Uh, glue two large chunks together, then cut it, then glue all of this in order, um, and then, yeah, turn it all.
but this was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about using my lathe, about gluing wood. I um, glued these in the wrong orientation before um, because it was easier and I thought I could do it and it was a spectacular failure. So I had to remake the billet and re return it. So I even, it's hard to see, but these are alternating pieces of walnut and cherry to make this portion here. Got the two buttons, you know, up, down, and I assume on, off uh, for this portion. Um, and yeah, this was a lot of fun to build. It really feels good to hold in your hand. Uh, it's got a great, great feel. And um, yeah, it satisfied my, my feeling to, you know, want to have my own lightsaber hilt. Um, and yeah, just had a, had a lot of fun doing it. Um, Sometimes I feel that my to justify the existence of my shop, um, I need to be making things that are useful for my family. Um, and I still do that to a large extent. But also, uh, this shop is my hobby. It's the thing I enjoy the most. Um, working here, building things, creating things. So I started to feel that I didn't need to justify my existence or my shop's existence um, and do a few things here and there that I just wanted to do um, and I think that's okay and I'm becoming okay with it and I'm having more fun and um, yeah I think we all need kind of a lesson in uh, enjoying the things that we have and not feeling like we need to to justify their existence um, so it got a little philosophical at the end, I apologize, uh, but may the 4th be with you, and uh, I'll see you next week. I also made a few mini ones for some ice cream scoops. Let me know in the comments if I should make more of these and what they should be handles for.